Hey beauty bosses, what's up? Asia here and I am back with another video. So this video is just like a one month check-in. Um, I wanted to get on, check in with you guys, kind of let you guys know how my transformation has been going. Um, start of the year, I told you guys I was going to go through a transformation um, and that wasn't just physical, that was mental, emotional, spiritual. Um, I really felt like it was time for me to make some changes um, and I just took action, kind of went in head first. And I am here to share with you guys my one month update. Um, I feel like it's been a little over a month, but a lot has happened. So that is what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. So I told you guys that when 2024 started, I was going to be going through a transformation year. I come to a head, if you will, um, with life. And I just was like, you know what? I'm ready to make some changes. New year. Um, this is a big year for me. A lot of big things are happening and I just felt like I had to move forward um, and transform not everything but the majority of things in the way I was doing my day in and day out um, and I just felt like it was just time and, and with the new year I was like this is it I I'm gonna head on so with this past month i have actually done a lot of transforming so i told you guys before that i was giving away things i was selling things moving things changing around my residence moving around you know things in my home just everything so i have been on like a month-long journey of cleaning things out so started with the physical um i told you guys i had a lot of things from shopping a lot of things that were brand new things that i you know had just kept in storage that i haven't used yet so what i started to do was every couple of days or every day i would go over to my storage unit and grab a crate full of things out and i would just start from the front go all the way to the back take it to my home go through everything um look through all like everything like pull every single thing out of a crate put it up on a shelf look at it assess what i wanted to keep and then the rest of the things were either going to go to giveaway or they were going to go on one of the reseller websites so that was like a very interesting process because there has been so many things that i have accumulated over the years that i've just thrown in this storage like i've just kept this storage just as a safety net for me um i've always just thrown things in there anything that i was buying while i was out i would just throw it in there and to see the stuff that has come out of this storage unit has been astronomical. Like it has been so crazy to look at the stuff that I have purchased or I have received throughout the years. Like I found one box from when I moved into my first apartment, had no dishes, nothing. And I had gotten all of these kind of hand-me-down things from my mom, like one wine glass or maybe two cups, you know, some mismatched plates, like, all of this stuff that had been just sitting in the storage like that i don't even need or desire anymore um so going through all that stuff it kind of was very i wouldn't say triggering i would say that they were very nostalgic i'll say that because it didn't trigger me at all to see where i had come from to now it was just very nostalgic to see things you know i've got clothes in there i've got shoes i've gotten you know hand-me-down things as far as homeware i have some things for my grandmother in there like i just had a bunch of things that still serve me because i kept a lot but there was a lot of things that did not serve me anymore so I started to go through things. I made piles. I made a keep pile. I made a giveaway pile. And then I made a sell pile. So I have had a Mercari and a Poshmark account for years. And I've always kind of just put things up there, just kind of put them up there and just left them. But in this transformation, I was given that I should be more intentional. So what I started to do was when I was putting the things up that I wanted to sell, I was just putting out that these things are mutually beneficial, that the people who purchase them love them, that they go to a great home and that somebody loves them as much as I do. And I started to notice once I did that, that things started to fly off the shelves. Every day I have made five to 10 sales on those websites. I've even put things on Facebook Marketplace, 
trying to get some more things like that are easier to get out, especially if it's over a certain size or it's a certain weight. I want to put those on Facebook market so I can just meet people. I've sold numerous things on there. I just really started to like embody this giving and selling and transforming kind of spirit. So I just decided, you know what, no holds bars. I'm going to be ruthless with my things because I want them to sell. I want them to go to a good home. And I just started to just look through things and really think like, do I really need this? Do I really want this? Was this just a part in my life where I just purchased this um, to make me happy at that one point in time when maybe something didn't go how I wanted it to go? And I am very emotional shopper here. I am an emotional shopper. I do believe in retail therapy. And so a lot of things that I had purchased were times and i can see those times of when i purchased something like why did i buy that i'm not kidding i found five wine decanters five two are identical that i didn't even remember buying like i bought so many things in my periods of time from like home goods and amazon and i love that i bought things off of amazon because now i can go back and see what I purchased so that when I'm reselling it, I can tell people, give them the exact measurements, the exact height, weight, everything. And I just have totally like let things go. And I feel great. Like selling the stuff, giving away things, I just, it makes me feel so happy. I have, I know, dropped off probably three to four different boxes, like moving boxes full of clothes and home good things, plates and dishes and cookware and tea kettles. I have just dropped off so many things to Goodwill and they're all very good condition things. They're, they're very good things. Like I've only used them a few times and they've just sat in my storage. So I've given away a ton of stuff almost as equal to the stuff that I've been selling. That's how much stuff I have accumulated over these years. And I just feel amazing. On a more physical, internal note, I have, since starting this journey, lost 10 pounds. Yes, 10, 10 pounds. I have been keeping up with it. I have lost 10 pounds and I just feel amazing. My body feels amazing, my mind, I just, uh, you know, I just feel so good and so free um, doing this transformation. You know, at one point in my life, I don't know if you guys knew, but I was working on like five or six different projects and I was so exhausted. I didn't have any time for myself. My skin was breaking out. My hair was horrible. I gained all of this weight and I just was in a very, very odd place. Like I had never really been in this place. And since that point, I just decided, you know what, I'm never going to be back there. Um, and I have stuck to that. I have journaled my way through things, manifested tons of things, put the action in with the manifestation so that the things are coming into fruition. And to see it come full circle is just so amazing. Like it is so dynamic so amazing i am so happy i feel so free and so light and i feel a, i don't even know i feel like an adult like i feel like i am adulting now i am doing things for me i am bringing in my income i am closing these business deals i am selling things i am just i'm transforming into this newer better version of myself so that not only i can be that for myself but i can be that for the people that i love and the people that are close to me and becoming just a full grown woman so from that transformation and this is just the first month so i'm very very excited to see what goes on in these next months like i know that this transformation is like months long um i know that every day i'm going to be discovering things moving things getting rid of things and just moving into that next step of life and i am just very excited to get there i'm very excited to be there i'm i'm basking 
and reveling in this process right now. Like I am taking every single day and I am grateful and I am thankful and I'm happy. I wake up happy and go to sleep happy. I don't let anything disturb my peace. Um, nothing really can shake me from this point that I am at. And I am just very, very happy and very thankful that listen to that guidance and really taking an action and I didn't hesitate. I jumped head first in and I truly feel like God in the universe is honoring my commitment by bringing in and helping me with this process. Like I have not second guessed a single thing since I've gone through this and I am just very happy and very excited. So that being said, it just, it's, once the ball got rolling, so many things have come from it. I am booking um, a trip that has been on my bucket list. I am traveling more. I'm getting different career opportunities. We're coming to me for collabs and promotions and I am doing, you know, my full-time influencing. I am just stepping into that and I am very happy and excited and I just can't wait to share that journey with you guys because you guys have seen me all of these years going through the different phases and trials in my life and I am not shy about that. I always am willing to tell people where I have come from and where I am at now in hopes to inspire somebody to get out there and do what they need to do. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to jump on, give you guys a one month update. Again, I will try to give you guys a month by month update, let you guys know what's happening. If I don't, I will update you guys, you know, as the months go on, whenever that may be that I jump on, I will share those things with you guys. But I felt like my one month is something that was very important to document and to tell you guys about. Um, and I do look forward to all of your questions. You guys know where you can send those questions to. Send me questions if you have them, if you're going through a transformation as well, or feel like you need to, if you need some help, or some encouragement on getting that ball rolling, reach out to me and let me know. I will be happy to answer any questions you may have. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Find me on all of my socials. That is Asia Ray Cosmetics. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.